Yep. Here we go. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the individual mandate. The uh, individual mandate is one of the two really major issues, the constitutional issues, that the Supreme Court needs to decide. And basically, let me set this up for you a little bit. Um, right now, almost everybody is into a small pool of insurers. So here's a little swimming pool with waves on it. Um, and you know, if you have an employer, a private employer, you might be in a small pool. And uh, you might be eligible for Medicaid, which is actually a fairly good sized pool, but it has uh, requirements such as a, uh, being below a certain part of the federal poverty line and also having a disability. What the Affordable Care Act tries to do is to drive down costs by creating a really much larger pool that everybody in the United States has to uh, buy into. And what that does is it means that people with health conditions, people with chronic diseases, um, and young healthy people who really aren't uh, showing any kind of health uh, issues all get into the same pool and that in theory will help to drive the costs down. Now the problem is, how do you make sure that people who uh, are healthy and otherwise not uh, uh, that interested in insurance, they're young, they, they're going to live forever, how do we make sure that they're interested in, in purchasing uh, insurance? And the answer is, you have to create an individual mandate. That What that says is that there's a requirement that you have to pay every person in the United States, well, I, most people in the United States will be subject to purchasing uh, insurance and you'll have to show it on your tax forms um, or uh, be eligible for uh, Medicaid below 133% federal poverty level and between 133 and 400% you'll, you'll be subsidized to do this but you need to show that, uh, uh, that uh, you've purchased insurance or you'll end up having to face a penalty. Um, the advantage though of this is, is that we can get a heck of a lot more people into the insurance pool that we already have, um, a lot more coverage, and hopefully that will also help people to uh, start to pick up diseases earlier understand, um, and, and get the health care that they need. Age United is weighing in on this case in the form of an amicus brief, a friend of the court brief, um, that was created by uh, Lambda Legal. We're really grateful to them, and obviously we would like to side on the side of getting uh, more people into health care.